Hey everyone, tonight we are starting our 100% Let's Play for Hogwarts Legacy. I can't wait for this, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, for those of you that uh, may be new to this channel, you don't know what's going on, all of my games are voted on by my patrons on this channel, so if you guys like what I do here and you like to throw in some support, you can click the link down in the description, become a patron, and choose the games I play in the future. We have 38 seconds before this game launches. I get asked this a lot. 100% means we're going to be getting all of the trophies and doing basically every single thing in this game. And word on the street is that you actually have to do uh, all four houses for, uh, for a trophy. So we might actually be playing it four times, but who knows? We shall see as we, we dive into this. 15 seconds to go. Hope everyone's having a wonderful night, or having a wonderful day, whatever part of the world you may be located. Here we go! Let's do it. Menu reader. Off. Press L2 button to toggle. Okay, we got a robot voice. Uh, do I care about any of these? Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, go away. Uh, all this seems good. Do we have... I'm just looking for subtitles. I don't think they're here. Okay, well, maybe somewhere else. Continue! This seems fine. Fidelity, a high fidelity rendering mode, favoring resolution and graphical quality. Do I want fidelity, performance, balanced, or HFR? What's that? An ultra high frame rate mode, favoring maximum performance. Uh, I'm going to go for fidelity. And if there's any problems, I'll switch to uh, balanced or performance. But we want a pretty looking game. I agree. Sell my soul away. Claim your rewards. Link your Harry Potter fan club. I don't even know what that is. And WG, WB Games account to customize your game and unlock exclusive rewards. Brings your wizarding world identity, including wand and house and Hogwarts legacy. What is the Harry Potter fan club? I've never heard of this. Uh, link some key accomplishments to the Harry Potter fan club. Linking is optional and does not affect gameplay. Apparently, uh, if you guys are a part of the Harry Potter fan club, you can get a beaked skull mask and house fanatic school rooms uh but i i do not have a harry potter harry potter fan club so let's see reward unlocked hogwarts legacy onyx hippogriff mount you may soar the scottish skies on the back of this graceful black hippogriff new mounts are accessible on the gear menu after the default hippogriff is unlocked in the main quest line all right and i also got the felix felicis potion recipe this recipe allows you to brew liquid luck, which will grant the drinker success in certain endeavors for one in-game day. Felix Felicius may be brewed and consumed after the potions station and tool wheel have been unlocked in the main quest line. Alright, so that's for later. We also got the Dark Arts Pack. Oh, this was for pre-ordering, I believe. Uh, you've unlocked the Thestral Mount, the Dark Arts Cosmetic Set, and the Dark Arts Battle Arena. New mounts are accessible in the gear menu after the Hippogriff thing different places to get your your um, cosmetics in the battle arena is accessible in the forbidden forest once you progress the main quest line far enough to leave Hogwarts freely All right. oh my god there's more reward unlocked Hogwarts legacy haunted Hogsmeade shop quest this is a quest you get for pre-ordering as well you unlock the exclusive haunted Hogsmeade shop quest which grants access to an additional dungeon Shopkeeper's cosmetic set and in-game Hogsmeade shop. It'll automatically appear in Hogsmeade when we get there. All right. And more! The Dark Arts Garrison Hat. This Garrison Hat with intricate detail is inspired by the dark side of magic. Cosmetics are accessible, blah, 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 blah. All right. We good? We got everything. Uh, 
Uh, that actually looks quite dark. But every time I screw with brightness, like it screws with the um, with the stream. Like the stream is always slightly different. So I'm just gonna leave it here, and you guys can tell me if it's too bright or too dark, and I can adjust as needed. So we'll just keep it a default. Hogwarts Witchcraft, or Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Oh, I just jumped a fifth year? That seems, uh, that seems a little, uh, cheated. How, do, how, how did I pull this off? Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. I know, I just jumped to fifth year. I don't know how I pulled this off. All right, uh, let's see. I want a dude. Who do I want to look like? Let's see. Definitely not him. He's not bad. He's not bad. He looks like he's 30. <laughs> he looks he looks a, a bit older. Uh, I don't know. I'm there's a few I don't mind. I think I I think I kind of liked this one the most. I don't know. I think I'm I'm kind of feeling this guy. Let's see. He wasn't bad. He's basically the same with some curly hair and darker skin. I actually don't mind him either. And what was it? This one? Eh, I don't really like that one. I'm sure I can customize it further, but I want a good base. <laughs> Use the default or we riot this guy? No, 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 no. Not, not for me. I think this guy. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling him. One of these two. What do you guys think? Any opinions out there? But yeah, I'm not, he's not for me. If you have opinions, pick now. Henry likes the first dude. I, I, I kind of like him too. Pull? I guess we could pull it. Why not? We've got pull feature. Why not? I guess we'll just call him curly hair or not curly hair. Oh, what? I started a Q&A. No, go away. I don't want that. Which dude? <laughs> Curly hair or straight hair? These are these are the two I'm debating. One was the default? Oh, was it? No, I didn't start on this one. Well, if he was the default, well played. Because he's uh, he is a dapper gentleman. <laughs> Curls are all getting shanked. We've got a close vote. Do it now. I don't want to have this vote forever. Three, two, one. Straight hair has won. Somebody's getting shanked. All right, he's our dude. What do we got here? Face shape? I don't know. I don't want to spend too much time in here, but maybe... Did that even do... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it did. Oh, no. Did it, like, mess up where it was? I liked where it was, and... Oh, my God. What is that? No. I actually don't mind that one. Is that where it was, though? He looks much younger with that face. I don't know. I kind of want... Um, I don't know. 
kind of like that one. That one's also not bad, but I think I like this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Skin color seems fine. Glasses? Hmm. Definitely not the half moons. I don't know. I kind of feel like normally I wouldn't have a character with glasses, but it kind of kind of feels like I almost should. And those glasses aren't bad. Maybe I'll go with the glasses. I don't know. I feel like that's uh, on theme. Let's not do a Harry Potter knockoff. No glasses? All right. Glass haters. No glasses. He's got perfect vision. All right, let's see. We got different haircuts. I, I kind of like the one he had. So that one's probably where we'll stay, but let's look at the other ones really quick. I guess we could have gotten curly hair after all. What, what's the difference here? Oh, I see, just slightly different part. I think I'm gonna go with the one I had. There's my hair. Man, they got a lot of hair options here. I feel like I'm starting a Elder Scrolls game. Two hours later, he has created his character. He is ready to enter the wizarding world. Definitely not bald. I think I'm gonna just stick with this. I like that haircut. And that hair color's fine. Uh, I don't. He hasn't. He he hasn't. He isn't battle hardened like that. Doesn't make any sense. He fought a rabid hippogriff when he was a child. He's just now starting his adventures. He's he's had no altercations. Eye color. I, I'm not getting into these details. That all looks fine to me. Oh, voice though. Let's see, how's he gonna sound? That was quite something. No. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Definitely a not. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Is he a robot in that pitch? That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. <laughs> Is it me or are these different pitches just like audio distortion? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Okay, those are gonna drive me crazy, so I'm just gonna I get here because that actually I sounds can very good. very well be able to help you. Select your difficulty, hard of course. A demanding gameplay challenge. Name your character. I am Lasser, of course. I need a last name? Oh no. I've never had to pick a last name before. Oh, give me a all right, we need a wizarding last name for me. What's a what's a good like last name for a wizard named Lasser? <laughs> Lasser von Shinies. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Lasser sh Shine Swaggler. I don't know. Laster strate Str Stragio? I'm trying to probably saying that wrong. Not Potter. <laughs> Shuffle Botham. <laughs> I kind of like that because it's so random. No, no, I need like a real last name. I I don't know, like. Let me just type this out just so I can see how it looks. Lasser shine shine swoggle. <laughs> Kinda sounds German though. Nah, that doesn't work. Oh, what about this? Lasser Platoricus. Although that sounds more like a spell.
Lasso Stormswell. <laughs> Hasselhoff. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm, I'm I don't want to spend too much time on this. What are we thinking? I kind of like Shuffle Botham. Windsor Husterpot? Doubtfire? I missed her Doubtfire? Okay, uh. I think I'm gonna go. I, the best one I've seen is Shuffle Botham. That's too long, though. Whatever. <laughs> Imagine lots of shuffle bottom in front of a class. Rolls off the tongue well. All right, I am Lasser Shuffle Botham. Oh, it's too long. Oh no, it's one letter too long. Well, we tried. Uh, alright, somebody give me a good one. Real quick. Keep, keep them coming. As soon as I see a good one, I'm taking it. Von Shinykiss? What about, uh, Shinestrom? Monster Shinestrom? Nah, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Magnanimous. Goldshine? Lasser Goldshine? Uh, why, why am I struggling so much to pick a name? Is this the whole stream? Dimple Wither? <laughs> Targaryen? Maximum. Oh, I don't know. I've never thought of a last name for my character. This is a first. I mean, I kind of want to be a double A, like just some random name, like Lazarus. Lazar Lazarus. What do you guys think about that? It, it doesn't have a particular name, I just think it sounds cool. Lugdu? Lasser Langstorm? I like it, that's good. Lazarus? Not <laughs> Lazarus. Yeah, I guess it is pretty close. All right, we're gonna be Lazarus. I, I I can't think of a better unless La like Lazarus is a name that's used. I wanna I want something unique. <laughs> Jeff, there you go. All right, I I'm gonna pick this. I guess. Not nothing else is coming to me. Lasser Lazarus is my name of the Lazarus family. This choice will determine your player character's dormitory. I am a wizard. All right. I am ready to start my journey after that uh, very long decision of what my last name is. Lazdorius? Ooh, maybe. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We did...
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Wigan World Potion. Down on the deep end of heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Hey, Muslim streamer. Thank you, my friend. Good morning, Shannies. It looks like you will have to play the game four times. Good luck. Yeah, I've heard that. We'll see. All right, left stick to move. Normal stuff. I'm moving very slowly. If there's anything back here. Where's that squirrel? Hey, Squirrel, you still back here? No? Alright. Oh, wow. He take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <laughs> I would like it so far, I just started. I have no opinion. Mind your step. It looks pretty, though. It certainly looks pretty. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Thanks on 100k. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Hoping to get my play button soon. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast, new spell unlocked. Tap R2 to perform a basic cast. Edge 
Excellent. Use your camera with the right stick to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling camera relative targeting and settings. I think I'm good with what I got. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. I get to abuse bots. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. No pots will remain on my watch. Excuse me, sir, but you uh, seem to have missed the pot. Very important. We can't just be leaving pots around. Oh, treasure chest. Nice. 52 currency. What's the uh, Harry Potter currency again? I forget what it's called. We're close now, it's just ahead. <laughs> Last or broken pause, that would have been more uh, appropriate. Steady yourself! Show off. You know, I can break pots. I think my ability is way better than yours. Almost there. Yeah, see? See, old man? Stare in awe of my superior abilities. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Hopefully it wasn't the pots. <laughs> the minimap shows your surroundings with you as the purple chevron thing in the middle. This gold thing is your current objective. Press and hold up on the D-pad to toggle quest objective details. Got it. I got a mini-map. Oh, what's this? Investigate. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. so weird that these pots aren't actually dropping anything. Like, why let me destroy them if they have nothing? I mean, I'll still destroy them because all pots must die, but it is a little odd. Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. There should be rupees in those pots. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Or nuts, apparently. Somebody said nuts, somebody said galleons. I don't know which one's right. Things for certain. I will be that very good. Haunted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? I'll be very good at basic cast by the end of this. What 
What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Malice Wonderland! So excited for this playthrough. Yeah, Shinies! Thank you! I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Are we in the bank? Wait, is this the bank? Is that a chest? Oh, we got a Shiny. Heck yeah! Galleons, nuts, whatever they're called. He's sleeping. I don't want to disturb him. But it looks like I must. Actually, hold on. Let's look around a little bit. Yeah, we're in the the bank place, aren't we? Hello. A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, no way <we're> here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Great Courts? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. 
on you by. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Well, when was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Wait, you have to, like, do actual motions? Revalio, steady your wand with the left stick and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Oh, this is just to learn it. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Alright, let's see. Uh. Oh, I see. Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. Yes, that would probably mean that. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Earn your way out. <laughs> I will break. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. I will break everything. 
When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. I wonder if the uh, Revelio does anything. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Oh. Oh, I gotta like, I gotta speed it along apparently? Oh, I do. You've acquired the wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas and apparently solve this puzzle. Hold R2 and tap the triangle button to cast or extinguish Lumos. Okay. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Ego? Protego. Adio. Defecto. Levioso. Deposo. Protego enemy attacks. Deposo. So I need to, like, let him come? Aha! Ooh! Oh, got slashed. Hey, stop killing everything. Oh, I gotta do it like way earlier than I thought. Alright, I'm dying over here. Oh, got it. Alright, so I got like a parry I can do. Magic parry. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Maybe follow the light trail. What's trains? happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, getting some vibration on the controller. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Okay. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. It's time. Face me. Oh, God, they're fast. Okay. Protego, stupid one. Stupid one. Stupid one. 
like the uh, targeting so far. It's very smooth jumping between targets. Hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefi stupefy counterattack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. I will try it. Oh, okay, but it's not necessarily the one that oh, it's not necessarily the one that I uh, countered. Kid doesn't even need to go to Hogwarts, he's a pro. Lumos. Oh, I can sprint, good. Yay! I can move fast. I was getting tired of that walk. This red glow. Now, not so ominous blue glow and a chest. Shinies. Oh, and another chest. Fifty-seven galleon, or whatever. All right, what is this? Is that a wand? Is that? Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's 
what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, or ambition. Let's say... Hmm. Daring, curiosity, or ambition could work. I'm gonna say daring. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. The sorting ceremony, the sorting hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Gryffindor House, known for daring, bravery, and chivalry. All right, uh, so I'll start a poll if we want to keep uh, Gryffindor or go with a different one. Uh, keep Gryffindor. How do you spell that again? Two Fs. All right. <laughs> a lot of you want me to be Slytherin. <laughs> Go Gryffindor, everyone is doing Slytherin. 
seems fitting for our first playthrough. Vote now. The poll is up. I'll let it go for a few more seconds. Three, two, one. And we are not keeping Gryffindor. Right, we will choose a different house. Oh, well, now we just choose. All right, well, it'll either be Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff House, known for patience, loyalty, and hard work. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw House, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Or Slytherin, Slytherin House, known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. I'll start a poll for this. I'll leave Gryffindor off of it, because we already chose not to do that. All right, so we want... Uh... Full puff? Oh my god, I can't spell. Ravenclaw. Or Slytherin. The pole is up. Choose our destiny. That blue on black is nice. Hufflepuff gets no love. All right, vote now. Three, two. Oh, you're not seeing the poll? That's weird. Anybody else not seeing the poll? All right, and I'm ending the poll. Hopefully most of you saw it. The winner is Ravenclaw. 49%. Jeez. Ravenclaw it is. Ravenclaw House, known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. I accept this house. The sort who makes an You belong entrance. in Ravenclaw! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Done. Now, 
go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Alright, where can I look at these quests and stuff here? Maybe, no, that's the options. Maybe start? Nope, that's the same. Okay, they both do the same thing. I don't know. Apparently I have a new quest. Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's look around. Appleby arrows? Oh, somebody needs to clean this thing. Look at that. Right, apparently it's up. Let's check the basement. Oh, up on the deep end? Welcome to Hogwarts. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps I should follow them. Alright, go away. There it goes. Let me just go snooping in people's rooms. Hopefully I don't mind. Hello, I'm the new kid. I just peruse other people's belongings. Don't mind me. Although apparently there's nothing to find. Alright, you gotta go, Jay. Have a good night, man. Oh, I found the bathrooms. Wow, swanky. Oh, I can flush the toilet. 10 out of 10 game. Somebody must have hidden something in one of these stalls, right? I gotta find a firecracker in one of these. Must be. Why else would they let me open them? Magical toilet tank a drink. I don't think it works that way. Man, those are some dirty tubs. <laughs> We've got all this magic and we we don't even like clean the tubs with it. Plus 10 rads. <laughs> nice. Oh, chest. Our exploration has paid off. Never mind. Level 3 lock. Alright, well, so far, exploration... Not given us a whole lot. Let's go upstairs. Alright, which one was my room? Was it this one? I can't even remember anymore. Alright, no, that was somebody else's room. Oh, mine had the, the portrait outside, that's right. Her genuine from her girdy with that one. 
I don't mind saying that I find it hard to comprehend the black as a white. What sort of witch would Must take that man's hand? Different. Back? Starting whole things on the other fifth hand, year. For us a lot. Oh, did you hear about the new spell we're learning in Charles? I can't wait. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a laugh with Ronan. Wonder how sharp injured his leg. I'd wager it was something to do with his time as an aura. Professor Hecate is intimidating, but then she has a serious subject to teach. Can't afford to coddle students when it comes to defense against the dark arts. Everyone seems to fear Professor Sharp. Not me. Really. I think the man's brilliant. He only barked me twice for Cindy arrives. I took my copy of 1000 Magical Herbs and Fungi to her I'm not sure this is the right spot. By the Mandrake seedling. Sharp was horrified I didn't have it for his class. Says I need to get my priorities straight. It's not the written exam that worries me with herbology, it's the practical. Why won't she just let us use gillyweed? What's the point in even learning about herbology? We can't I'm get not ourselves sure into trouble. The right spot. If I haven't personally met a mermaid by the end of term, I can tell you I shan't be happy. How are there so many lectures in herbology? I need to get some dragon hide glass for herbology. I refuse to handle Chinese chomping cabbages with bare hands. Let's get us chatting. That's not right either. Any of you know where I can find some leaping toadstools? Hmm. I'm not sure this is the right spot. I wish I brought a pet owl to school. Don't misunderstand. I adore my toad. But they somewhat. Mm, that's not I'm right either. You the toad. Owls must be incredibly intelligent to deliver all those letters. I still get lost looking for our common room. So many letters arrive every day, and none of them is ever for me. I never know what to say when I write to my mother. Hello, mother. Classes are horrendously boring. And Professor Pins is still as dull as when you were in school. I used to write to my parents every week. Now I can't remember the last time I sent them an owl. Wonder if they're not still alive. So he's just gonna keep chatting? Mm, that's not right either. I yes. I for the ones who don't receive any owls. Poor things. Have you seen any the places on the table? Showing off is a muggle trait. You don't see that sort of behavior in the wisdom. Obviously, Hogwarts is the best listening school in the world. Everybody knows that. Of course we're going to be the best in magic. My family has a lineage of exemplary flyers. It's no wonder Splintwitches is desperate for me to buy a broom there. If anyone needs help with an essay or something, I don't think I can that. I wrote two inches of bins yesterday while I was eating my lunch. Nobody can do a hex like me, and I dare you to prove me wrong. You saw that first year with the engorged head. Mm, that's not right either. I was trapped on the grand staircase for an hour Jeez. the other day waiting for it to move. Sharp didn't believe me when I told him why I was late. I enjoy having lunch down by the lake. Except when the giant squid splashes about. Not much for soggy sandwiches. Have you been to the owlery lately? Our selves have fallen a bit mm, behind. That's not this right one. either. Do you think anyone has found every secret passage in Hogwarts? Wouldn't surprise me if new ones popped up occasionally. My friends and I like to spend our evenings watching the sunset from the Quidditch pitch. That's all the pitch is good for this year, sadly. Oh, I've been turned around on the grand staircase one too many times. I simply avoid it now. I don't think it's done. I'm waiting. I tried to brew some Amortentia once. It was an awful disaster. I thought he'd take an interest in me. I was distracted by thieves and ran face first into Adelaide Oaks the other day. Our books went flying. I think it made Peeves' entire week. My aunt made some Amortentia once because she wasn't getting along well with my uncle. Well, my father naturally assumed I'd be a strong seeker just like him. I say thank Merlin, Quidditch was cancelled. 
tried what I thought was a smoothing elixir for my hair. Oh, I think I was tricked. Smells like flower worm mucus. Oh. I'm uncomfortable with the size of my face. Well, you were asking the other day, so I'm telling you. My father writes to me every week asking about classes and wondering if I've made any new friends. Dread me. Every time our owl appears in the Great Hall, I simply cringe. Try working with a bomb that's been passed out with three of the sisters. Like, this new kid just stares a lot. It all baffles me. It moves. Whoever came up with it moves to her emotion. Desperately need to improve my charms marks this year. Perhaps I can find a housemate to levitate. If I transfigure my poor toe, into a goblin one more time. I think he's going to insist he stay that way. I suppose in all fairness, one should be prepared for anything. Professor Howard's going to quiz us on rare water beasts next week. Can't wait to tell her I actually saw a Kelpian island over the summer. Professor Weasley said she'd help me with my switching spells after class. I think she's tired of finding partially transfigured items about the classroom. That reminds me. It's rude to say we could borrow the book overnight. Or that we'd get detention if we had a out of <laughs> I asked Ronan what he'd recommend for a billywick scene, and he laughed and said, try not to be seen. Why not funny at all? Oh, turn up the dialogue? Maybe I can. Let's see. <laughs> now it's maxed out. Yeah, they, they're just kind of low on my end, too. For soggy sandwiches. Have you been to the Alright, they're starting to repeat. Right spot. What else we got around here? Hello, Samantha Dale. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. He's quite knowledgeable. I wouldn't really know. Uh, yeah, he's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Nice talking with you. Isn't Hufflepuffs who like plants? Do most students grow their own ingredients? Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Some Hufflepuffs who like plants. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> nice talking with you. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. <laughs> Walk away, that joke sucked. <laughs> Alright, what else is going on around here? We gotta spend all the globes required. Man, those two are chatty. Hello. Hello. 
Nobody wants to talk to me. All right. Deep breath. Amit Thakar. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for stargazing. I find the stars fascinating. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! Alright. We're meeting potential new friends. Hello, suits of armor. Just have to wait for the right moment. I suppose some introductions are in order. Saying new things. This is the first year my siblings and I are all at Hogwarts together. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with her time, so she knits. Sends us each a new jumper every week. My entire family's been sorted into Hufflepuff, except for me, that is. Mm, makes sense. Not one for hard work, if I'm honest. This is my sister's first year at Hogwarts. Every time she pretends not to see me in the halls, I cast at her with the trip jinx. Oh, my mother makes the most delicious Alahotsi fudge every Christmas. I can barely fit into my school rooms when it's time to come back. I hadn't met any of my cousins until I came to Hogwarts and found out we were sorted into the same house. My brother just started at Hogwarts as a Gryffindor. Thought for certain he'd be Slytherin, cunning as he is. How many letters do you think come in and out of Hogwarts every day? Wish I brought a pet owl to school. Don't misunderstand, I adore my toad. At least someone. Don't suppose you want a toad? It's been ages since I've sent an owl back home. My father will be worrying. Hmm. Perhaps next week. Do all of the professors have their own owls? I imagine they must send a lot of letters. <laughs> this should be interesting. Everett Clopton. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? It's someone <coughs> through a dumb box. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Looking forward to my first day. I'm actually a tad nervous. I'm actually a tad nervous. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. 
but probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dungbong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. <laughs> yes. Who would have hey, ever uh, suspected you? Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. She can wait. <laughs> yeah. You, you tossed it three feet, dude. I think they'll figure out who did it. Maybe five feet. struggling with antidotes. It's startling to me that so many of them use manuals. I wish you'll never turn to that for a while. A meat to car is already studying for hours. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. It all baffles me. Take Moonstone. Whoever came up with using Moonstone for the potion. It's impossible to do all of the homework they give you. I think they do it on purpose. If I transfigure my poor toe, into a goblin. One <laughs> Those are the same people as the other ones. Well, I've yet to understand how one is expected to do Professor Howard is going to quiz us on rare water beasts next week. Can't wait to tell her I actually thought of something violent. What house am I? Ravenclaw. All right, well, apparently we go down there to meet her, but I'm going to look around a little bit more. Is there a trophy for globe spinning? If there is, I'm going to get it. <laughs> look at this guy staring at me. What do you want? All right, uh, let's see. Haven't been pet. Oh. Apparently, I don't get to go there. Let's go up. Oh, there's a whole other area up here. Oh, we got another chest. Level 2 lock. I am ready to steal people's stuff. So we got the level 3 chest downstairs, we got the level 2 chest here. Chinese, what do you think of it so far? I mean, I haven't seen enough to really have an opinion. It's pretty looking though. Can I pick that up? Ha! <laughs> Nobody litters in my house. Press L3 to sprint. I know. I'm I'm just looking around casually at the moment. My uncle knows Kagawa, so I can't imagine I will get good marks. And my aunt knows Black's wife, so all in all I'd say I'm well set. I tried a new reversal hex on that small one. I found it rather boring, although, in all fairness, it only partially worked. It just didn't look all that strange. Do you ever wish you could ride a hippogriff? I've ridden one, of course. Several, in fact. I just wondered if you knew what it was like. I can't believe she's seen the best one. And why should I be impressed anyway? Anyone can ride a dead person to the cover. She's a little liar. Last week, I performed a knee reversal hex on a second year. It was an utter triumph. I shrank the mother legs. I did. Don't give me that look. You weren't there. You know it does help to look at the thing while you're stirring. Why are we only learning all the boring potions? When are we learning Felix Felicis? Knowing Sharp, he'll probably teach it after we've done our exams. In my blood. I don't find potions bearable at all. And if it's double potions, I question whether I wouldn't just rather be a muggle. I can't 
seem to master the Wigan World potion. Perhaps my stirring technique is a bit off. If we were simply taught antidotes to common poisons, I truly think that would be enough to get us through life. I promise you, more teachers know at you if you're holding a stack of books. I swear it's true. Still have a bump on my head from herbology last week. The cotton fell out of my ear during a mandrake lesson. I came to with my head in an upturned plant pot. I've been tempted to say I lost my wand just to get out of Winsley's assignments. How's that for transfiguration? Hmm. I know what you mean. Every time I'm there, everyone falls asleep. I don't think that's what a common room is for. There was a rumour that if you open the barrels in the middle of the Christmas carol, you get a present. While I remember, don't forget to give me that book on ancient runes. Or in case I don't see you, let's be sure we make some time to study later. A common room. My older sister came here, said she carved her initials into the fireplace of our common room, but I think she made it up. Wish our common room was bigger. I could never find enough space to spread out my star charts. I tried to hide a puff scheme once, in the corner of the common room. They really shouldn't allow food and drinks in the common room. Stepped in a puddle of butterbeer the other day. Better than a failed potion, I suppose. I think they have these chatty people in every common room. The great witches and wizards of the past who once sat in the same chairs as we now get to sit in, in the common room. Most inspiring. Nothing worse than students practicing jinxes on each other in the common room. Can't take a step for fear of having your legs turn to jelly. Or do you think they copied it for each one? Got called on to read out loud in history and magic the other day. Stumbled over all the words. I think I even bored bins. Mad saying something. We had a ghoul in our attic. Groaned all the time. Quite the nuisance. Still, we never had spiders. In Transfiguration, I switched the writing ink with four word figures. I thought it'd be funny, and it... Ugh, I was always in trouble, I was. Always something broken in the garden. Ornaments, torn up lawn. Tried to summon the pepper at dinner last week, and dropped a pudding into our prefect's lap. Not sure who felt it more, me or her. Honestly, the way some of those Slytherins fawn all over Professor Black, it's embarrassing. Even he seems irritated by it. Then again, what isn't he irritated by? All I can say is, don't look inside my notebooks. You know, it does help to move it. I think he's interrupting it. are we learning all the boring potions? When are we learning Felix Felicia? <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy eavesdropping simulator. Hmm, magical piano. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Another chest. Level one lock. All right. So there's one of each level here, apparently. They do hate potions, don't they? Oh, what's this? Level one lock. All right, so a bunch of stuff is locked. Just drifting through. Alrighty, uh, let's go this way. Good morning. 
I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Field guide page. Collect. Ravenclaw Blust. Guide pages. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. One of two field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or experience. Open the field guide, okay. This is your wizarding level. Experience earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Uh, let's see, 1% overall progress. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select the field guide pages to continue. All right, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Uh, so if I collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts, I get uh, some glasses, apparently. The Hogwarts regalia spectacles. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Oh, that's so cool. The moving pictures, I like that. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Feel something there, but I'll wait. I'm on her little mission. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. 
You've discovered a flu flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the great hall. All right, select the grand staircase region here. The magnificent, magnificent staircase of Hogwarts. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. The annex of the library. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames for you. Use the right stick to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall Flu Flames with Square. Right. Slightly confusing map. Not sure if I like the angle yet. The Central Hall, Hall of Hogwarts Castle. I will travel there. <laughs> Last I went straight A's here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I still can't believe that girl. Wrote her essay on shrinking skin. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. <laughs> Can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. 
I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Oh. Talk to Professor Fig. Hello, Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Uh, I didn't like to lie to her. I'm a good boy. But I did it for you, Professor Fig. I did it for you. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. New quest available. Open the quest law. You can track available quests from the map. Alright, this uh, emblem thing represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant experience. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. Uh, in these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Track a quest with X to continue. All right, so we can do defense against the dark arts class. The field guide map shows Professor Hecat's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Attend defense against the arts class, or defense against the dark arts class, rather. And that will give us Levioso. Or Charms class. The field guide map shows Professor Ronin's class is in the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. That will give the Axio uh, spell. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I want to do defense against the dark arts. Check that quest. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Quest complete. Welcome to Hogwarts. Wait, are they saying the same thing? Genuinely questionable as to whether the man's at Hogwarts to steer the next generation or to become the next Yurik the Oddball. Ronan certainly employs creative teaching methods. While I don't always enjoy his game, I can admire the enthusiasm. Rumor is, Professor Hecate used to work for the Ministry. 
Something Professor Shah is hard to read, but I find her as easy to read as a star chart. She has no patience for time wasting. Do you think if we asked Shah, she'd let us go up early into the astronomy tower? I bet she would. She lives for it. Can't decide if I All right, so this is likely going to be uh, a common thing in the game. I don't know for sure. Uh, but I do want to ask you guys um, if you want me to keep doing this eavesdropping or not. And so I'll just do a quick poll. Do, 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 yes or no. All right. There's the poll for you. While we wait. Professor Heckett more. Heckett. No. Weasley. Oh, they're both brilliant. Got a peek at the prefect's bathroom last year. I've missed class for a week to soak in that tub. Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to Hogsmeade, but I haven't found it. Oh, probably for the best. I'd be at the three broomsticks all day. Pete was in a mood the other day. Tossed my quill right on Scribner's desk. Now I have detention for a week. I enjoy having lunch down by the lake. Except when the giant squids splash. Some of this is... Not much for soggy sandwiches. Uh, repeat. So dreary. Perhaps that's the point. I'm surprised they're allowed to bring them into class, though. I think Howen should be allowed to bring any beast she wants into class. Oh, wouldn't that be marvelous? <gasps> Imagine if she brought in a unicorn. A unicorn? Oh. Are you a moon mine? What? What would be the issue with a unicorn? Yes. What on earth could be bad about bringing a unicorn to class? I don't believe you two. You'd have us overrun with nifflers if it was up to you. Oh, nifflers. <gasps> can you imagine? I think we should ask Professor Howen if we can bring them in. Listen to the pair of you. You're completely potty. I'm still waiting for the reason you think a unicorn is a bad idea. I... It... All right, it's a close vote. I'll let it go for a little bit longer because it's like basically neck and neck. But put your votes in now. Um, some of it does seem to be repeat, so it's hard to say. Obviously, it's the horn, which you could stab us with. Don't be silly. It'd just nuzzle you. Nuzzle? Oh. It wouldn't just nuzzle me. It'd impale me. Ugh, I can see I can't get anywhere with you two. Don't mind him. He's just scared of anything that has more than two legs. I'm not. All right. The people have spoken. There will be... No eavesdropping. Wouldn't mind being a cat or an erupting. There's something I in all there night just no history of magic. Oh, looks like we found a side class. Lenora Everlay. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you learned anything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there other paintings like this here? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Perhaps I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I started. Come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Discover the painting's secret. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. All right, what is that? Is that like a dragon wing? Can't tell what that is on the right. No, that's not a wing. I don't know what that is. Some sort of like sculpture. Base of a staircase. All right, good to know. If you 
this? Yeah, that goes that way. Oh, wait, is it right here? Oh, well, it just points it out. Oh, and it must be that. Okay. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. That? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh. Let's go, moth. Go to the frame, moth. We're here. You can do it. There we go. I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Field guide page. You have uncollected rewards. All right, let's check it out. Oh, and we also have gear. Let's see. This is my pre-order stuff, I think. Handwear. Black leather gloves. You could sell them if you wanted to. Sure, I'll wear some gloves. Why not? What is this? Between quests is a good time to identify new gear, sell excess to vendors, and increase your gear capacity by completing Merlin trial challenges. Okay. And we got the gold rimmed circular spectacles. This item has no magical properties. If we wanted glasses, we can have them. Headwear, we've got the dark flat cap. No. No, no, let that hair out. Neckwear, though, maybe. We've got natural beige scarf. Nope. Cloak and robes. Traditional school robe. Nah, I like having the cloak and outfit we have the perfect vest uniform but the <laughs> no especially not in the halls what are you doing man what are you doing all right uh we have requests like a moth to a frame i should let lenora everlay know that i've solved the mystery of the painting okay and we got our two main quests Uh, what's this? Collections. Revelio pages. Field guide pages discovered with Revelio that reveal interesting facts about the world around you. Revelio pages can be found in Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and special Highlands locations. So we got our first one in Hogwarts. Jeez, there's a lot of collectibles. Okay. And then challenges. Quests. What's this? Complete two main story quests, and we get some legendary gloves, apparently. Seems a little premature. And field guide pages, what's this? Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts completed. We got the Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles claimed. And then if we do eight, we get Hogwarts Regalia Gloves. And why is collection showing again? Appearances? Oh. Cosmetic alterations applied to gear via the change appearance option in the gear menu. Appearances in this list are rewards for special accomplishments, or accomplishments such as challenges and quests. All right. All right, where is she? Oh, she's up there. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? <laughs> I'm not telling. I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. 
Natty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Collection updated. Challenge unlocked. Complete side slash relationship quests. Oh, and we're level two. Cool. Wait, we got a... Oh, we got the uh, com Cobalt Regalia. An ensemble for those with poise and refinement earned by solving the mystery of the empty painting frame. We got this new challenge for quests. If we complete three side slash relationship quests, we get the bookish half rim spectacles. She looks a little crazy. Staring at that book, rocking back and forth. The spells, they won't cast. Alrighty. Well, we will head this way. I'm gonna have to learn how to navigate this place. What's this? Reveal. Can't open it. Twenty one seventeen. Hmm? Alright, that seems to be some sort of puzzle. Lumos. Huh. Come back for this. I'm feeling stupid. What's this question mark, though? Oh, wait. Ah, that's related. Okay. What's this? Feeling stupid. <laughs> I'm guessing the three things equal the number in the middle, but that still doesn't help me in any way. We've got this over here, which presumably does something. So squid, whatever the heck that top right thing is and question marks is 17. Then 11 question mark and I don't even know what animal that is, but the thing at the top is 21. Don't see any connecting thing. Oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe the arrangement of the symbols means something here. it makes like I'm thinking of it like a triangle between them but that wouldn't mean much I might come back to this this thing is stumping me I feel I'm feeling dumb 
Yeah, we're gonna come back to this. I don't quite understand. All right, we'll return later. Wish I brought that out to school. Potions classroom, flu flames location discovered. Okay. I really love the pictures. That they did such a good job with those. That's super cool. Alright, well I don't want to go that way. No, I've always said was it two pictures of Rodan's the mind. Oh, then they talked too. Transfiguration Courtyard. Ah, oh, here we go. Shows like a treasure thing over here. Oh, that might have been. Oh, that's the one we passed. Never mind. Is that Dobby? Well, it's a house elf. I don't know if it's Dobby. Maybe just a regular one. How how long do they live? Maybe he did exist back then. What are you up to now? All right, we got the transfiguration classroom unlocked, or the flu flame for it, rather. Apparently a chest here? Huh. Weird. Rebellion. Configuration courtyard. Wow, there's a lot of flu flames. <laughs> Who's this? Petey has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. Oh, oh, oh. Nice and warm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, such fun. Oh, he left. Okay. You left your torches! I'm gonna destroy him. Ah, I can't. Revelio. I really love the way the castle looks. Like random things talk to you. Field guide page. Painting of Eli. Eli. I don't know how to pronounce it. Elias. Eli. Elias. I don't know. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard Elias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors and the dark wizard Rakzidian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Average life expectancy of a house elf is 200 years, so not Dobby, but we could see Creature, family, Black's house elf, especially considering the current headmaster is from the Black family. I see. How how much time is this one before the Harry Potter movies books? Fills our stout hearts with joy to be in the presence of such arrogance. Uh, that's a level two lock. Spin the globe. We must. Hmm. 
Revelio. Someone said a hundred years? Well then why couldn't Dobby be born yet? That lines up. <laughs> Violins playing themselves. I like it. Augure skeleton. This is the skeleton of an Irish phoenix or augure, an intensely shy bird who can forecast the coming of rain and whose mournful cry was once believed to foretell death. Just chilling with her, with her broom. Revelio. Hey, it's cat. my young friend all right I found defense against the dark arts class oh wait is this another moth thing aha let's do this real quick Lumos I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> they really made this castle a lot of fun all right what the heck is this hmm can find it I'm assuming down here if you see a cat pat it oh I have to it's a requirement what's this Revelio. apparently nothing Yes. The heck? Uh. Wake up. <laughs> it's an eyeball. He's staring at me. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. Not seeing that. Area it showed. Blind the chest? I could try. Let's see. Lumos. No, nope, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Good idea, though. Wait, is this this one? Wait, a quest. Oh, that's the other. Wait, this is the defense against the. Th you can't th imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I thought it was the other one. I'm confused. I still 
Let's see this area. Huh, what the heck is that? Let's try this way. What the heck was that? Oh, they fly through on their brooms? That's cool. Okay, I don't think it's over here. It's a cool area. But I don't believe it's what I'm looking for. Here is it? Oh, maybe it is. I guess I never looked up here. Maybe it is up here. Wait, is this it? No. I love the way this castle looks. It's so cool. Hey, I found a bathroom. Rebellion. Isn't there like a... What's that... What's that ghost name? The one who cries in the bathroom? Is it like Moaning Myrtle or something like that? Oh. Oh, okay. Let me help. Nope. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> I was never here. Oh, I found it. I think. Is this it? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. This kind of looks like this spot. No, it's slightly different. Or maybe it was over here? Oh, this is totally it. I found it. Lose. Right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, there's a chest. Let me grab that. Oh, it's locked. Level one. I went in the girls' bathroom. Eh, they can deal with it. I'm exploring. That's my excuse. Ta-da! Look at that. Almost level three. Pro status. All right, let's go do a class. Uh, which way was it again? I'm turning around. I think it was down here. How's the game coming along so far? I like it. It's not. I don't know quite what I expected, but it's not exactly what I expected. I'm really digging what they've done with the environment. Like, the, the castle just feels so cool. All the moving pictures, and there's so much going on. Like, people flying by on broomsticks. and Ghosts, like, popping up out of nowhere. Gargoyles randomly talking to you. Suits of armor moving. Like, they did a really good job with it. I'm enjoying just walking around and seeing what there is to see. I haven't really even done that much to be to be honest. All right, here's the class. This might be charms, but whatever, we can do charms. Got. Uh, 
Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady your wand. Oh, this again. All right, go. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Leviosa! Leviosa! Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <laughs> this Levioso. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. I do enjoy my happy duels. You're good. How perceptive. Let me oh, we got each other. How's the view? Are they good at this, aren't they? Oh, I suck at it. Good play. Protego. Oh, crap. Stupid. Let me also. I've only called my students for this adept. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Stupid one. Levioso. Watch your opponent decide to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed.
If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. This guy's voice is killing me. <laughs> You've drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Oh good, we got two guys with, with weird voices. Let's see, can I sneak into her room? Level 2 lock! Oh, we're gonna get in some trouble later. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, we can't let him on. It was. Never used my wand in combat. Nope. Never. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. First class student. And we're level three. New quest available. Alright. Revelio. Anything in here? Shows me locks, but that doesn't help me. All right, what well, to now? the other class is up there. We could do it. We could explore a little bit. After we have some tea. Can I cast Leviosa on myself? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's find out. Leviosa. Nope. Just that bathroom I went to? Yeah. Alright, so the other class is up there, apparently. It's this place. Oh, it's Professor Fig's classroom. Well, I may as well take his stuff. Collection updated. Arrow pink swirl? What the heck was that? What did I get? We got quests here. Crossed wands round one. I should speak with Lucan Brattleby by the secret dueling club. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Or, oh. Hold on, hold on. Gear we got. It said I had something new, but I think it lied to me. Oh, but still says I have something new. What the heck? 
I think it's lying to me. Seems to be. Yeah, I don't know what it's talking about. Alright, well. I see nothing. Uh, collections. What's this? Oh. Another... Revello or Revelio. Guess we didn't look at this. Oh yeah, we did. And then this is wand handles? Ah, oh, that's what I got, a wand handle. Pink swirl, a molded pink and gold swirled handle with a fashionable point at its base. Oh, and I didn't look at whatever the heck is new at the bottom. Challenges. Quests. Oh, we completed two main story quests, so we got the, the gloves. Well, let's go check them out. They're not here. Strange. All right, well, we got a wand handle, although apparently we haven't unlocked that yet to actually use it. What's this? Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts. A fifth year, if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimatize before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigellus Black, Headmaster. Revelio. He should really lock his stuff. I guess I can go say hey to him. Don't mind me, just taking your stuff. Ceramic mask. Mask. Oops, wrong button. Oh, side quests are now available. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as flags and discovered by exploring the world. These quests reward experience, but do not advance the main story. And for some reason, I can't talk to him. Revelio. All right, he doesn't want to talk. Okay. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Ah, oh, that's another bathroom. Myrtle, you in here? Oh, that's another one of these chests. What if I can lift them up? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever feel comfortable going to the bathroom on any of these toilets. They might just suddenly explode. Alright, well the dueling club's apparently over there. Or we can do our main quest. Let's go to the dueling club. Myrtle hasn't died yet. I see. Where she said I could swim, did you practice a mole? 
As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. These peas will make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! I'll get you for this. <laughs> I, I just like this random stuff that happens in the castle. That's so cool. Level one lock for that bathroom. Some time in the fresh air would do wonders for you, if it's not too late. I have yet to find anything in one of these stalls, but one of these times I will. Wait, what the heck? Uh. Uh. <laughs> this is not what I expected. I'll just be going. Chest! Why is there cake in the... Hey, we don't ask those types of questions, Satsuna. We Rebellion. just step away slowly. Oh, hello. Lachlan the Lanky. The statue depicts the wizard Lachlan the Lanky. A tall, slender wizard who appears quite proud of himself. For what precisely, no one knows. Revelio. Oh, the chest. I can use it. I really love these moving portraits. What's this? Oh. Was oh, that a loading screen? Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. What's over there? Levioso. Aha. Oh, that didn't even have a description. Alrighty. Off on another adventure, are we? Or maybe it does. Let's see. Inventory. Letter to Fig from Black. Oh, we kept the letter. Okay. Collections. Legendary gloves. Gloves stitched with mysterious designs earned by completing main quests. Okay, so there's the dual guy. I want to look around a little bit first. Another chest! Oh, we're going to be so rich. We're going to be rich. Level one lock. Can I help you? Can I help you? Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. That's nice to hear. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. 
imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? I'll join your club. Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? I'm ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Ooh, it's go time. Break through yellow shields with control spells, like the levitation spell Lavioso. Targeting lock R3 lets you track enemies without aiming. Use a blah 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 and all that. I like aiming. Oh. Ah, crap. I done dumb. Ah, oh, I'm defeated. Fail. Womp, womp, womp. That looks painful. Can't you try another round? Yeah, I suck. Yes, I would. Yes. Don't count me out yet. Brilliant. All right, round two. Why didn't that work? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, come on. Oh, he caught me. Oh, I suck. Let's go. Oh, my God. All right, I'm terrible at this game. That looks painful. Can you try another round? Yes. Yes. This time I won't Don't count me out yet. Brilliant. Right, I gotta be more careful when I use Leviosa. Alright, much better. You're better than that, <laughs> Just tossing this kid around the room. Take that, Astoria Cricket. Mind the one. Perhaps one day I'll sign up for a round. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up. And you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Yay, I yeah, finally didn't suck. I got another quest complete. All right, what's going on over here? Revelio. Mm, interesting. Oh, wait. Well, it started to open, and then it shut. Huh. Wait. I don't know. Maybe something for later. We got the courtyard over here. All right, I think we'll go do that main quest. Hello. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. What's that? Oh, wait a minute. Revelio. 
Oh. <laughs> map of Argyllshire. This map depicts Argyllshire, a region in Scotland which contains the Hebrides. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Native home of the Hebridean Black Dragon. Rebellion. I assume I can't just break this. Yeah. Nope. All right. Worth a shot. Arg Isleshire and Hebrides. I will continue to murder things. I will just warn you now. But I will try to remember those. Oh, wait. Go up. We sometimes have to day. remind him to finish well, the lesson. I have a friend Some of us don't necessarily doctor. want him to get back to the lesson. He's fallen uh. over in Piccadilly Circus visiting a relative. Fear is weakness. Rebellion. I don't think it's anything special in your family's work. Wow, this just keeps going up, doesn't it? You can get all sorts of clothing with glad rags. Not just common wear either. I've seen rare garments there. Very powerful, I'd imagine. I can't say I feel the need for that sort of thing, mind. I'd be quite content with a new pair of socks. Kitty! chest four or silver four eyes spectacles i'm not telling lies peeves it was albert boot no it wasn't it was basil flat oh fight fight it's a bold attack was the minister a boot or the minister a flat Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you can't play wizard's chess is disappointing. No wizard's chess, no Quidditch. Kitty! Oh, it's this again. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Maybe these are all connected. Maybe like the values are the same everywhere. I still don't see how that helps us. Yeah, I don't get this thing at all. Oh, wait, there's a, oh, well, this one actually has the two. Oh, the, maybe the last one had a second one I didn't see. Okay, hold on, so maybe, maybe we could figure this out. But even so, like, how would we? All 
All right, let's see. The horse four and question mark. All right, so maybe the horse is two. So then we need the sixth one, which would be the, I think that's a crab. It's hard to tell. Maybe we need the crab. Let's see. Oh, I think that was it. All right. All right, let's try Mr. Crab. And then we would need the unicorn. Wait, no. Oh, well. Wow. Well, that theory's out because the unicorn is not an option. So I'm stuck again. What the heck? Yeah, maybe they're all connected and then once you figure out one of them somehow, you'll figure out them all. If you can figure out like what the pieces are. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, put the spider because it's eight? Maybe, but that one may... You can't do the spider anyway. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure this out later. Those puzzles have baffled me thus far. What's up here? What mic do I use? I have a blue Yeti. Leviosa! Leviosa. Hey, I'm level 4 already. 20 HP. Wow, this just keeps going up, doesn't it? Something. Rebellion. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> Alright, our challenge is complete. Let's take a look. That's still only 1% of the challenges. Oh, I never claimed this reward. That's why I didn't have it. Hogwarts. Uh, let's see. Collect 15 field guide pages in Hogwarts for the Hogwarts regalia hat. I got the gloves now. I wish to wear them. Still not there. Oh, this actually has stats. Ceramic mask is superb with three defense but very ugly and this has five defense so it's actually better silver four eye spectacles <laughs> well it gives me uh it gives me stats i'll take it all right i don't understand this stuff like i've gotten it now but I can't seem to use it? Oh, the cosmetic alterations. Okay. So I can change my existing gloves into that look, but they're not gloves on their own. You can make it invisible and still get the upgrade. And, and pass up this uber fashion? All right, all right. How do I do that? Let's see. Change appearance. All right, I'll just turn them off. The appearance menu allows you to assign a different visual to pieces of gear you own. Your selection includes basic appearances automatically collected from gear you discover, as well as unique appearances found in your collections.
Hello, ghosty. Revelio. Okay, let's go. Oh wait. Is it chest here? Oh, maybe it's up there? What's that? Oh, interesting. Why are you throwing it up there? She's always showing off about her puff scheme grooming. Fur like silk. What shine? Ugh, I could be sick. Alright, let's go to class. Begin. you there is an open seat here thank you hello I am Nettie so you are the new student have you met professor Ronan yet <clears throat> shall we begin <laughs> welcome to year five of charms now this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Yeah, I already forgot how to pronounce this. What did you say? Asio? I think. Go! Learn the spell! Akio! Oh, Akio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> hmm. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. 
Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Summoning charm, Akio pulls the target closer to the caster. Hold R2 and press the assign button to cast Akio and pull a target closer. Press the button again to cease casting the spell. All right. Akio. Very good. Too much. Stay focused. How about there. Excellent control there. That's it. Perfect. Okay, now what? Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. Fifty on a first go. What a cheater. All right, I got this. Oh, how you like them apples? Very good. What, she gonna get a perfect score this whole time? What if I can knock her ball off? Let's find out. Well, maybe. Quite impressive. Here we go. Oh, only got 30. There we go. I'm screwed now. Left the door open. Akio. Oh, get wrecked, lady. Perfect score. A perfect score. Remarkable. Summoner's Court winner. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Only 30. Failed. Yeah, yeah failed. Alright, let's wait for a good, good opening here. Do it! Akio! Splendid! Look at that. Watch this. Oh, she's getting. That is how it's done. She's getting wrecked. Done. Here we go. Oh, oh, what, what, what the heck? I barely did anything. There we go. Slight movement. I already won, but I'm gonna drop a perfect score on her. Oh, that's right. Oh, don't go too far. All right. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. Good, both of you. Well done.
Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. I don't know how she pronounced this, but how big is Wagadu? A <laughs> Wagadu? Is Wagadu much bigger Wagadu. than Wagadu? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. What does Wagadu look like? Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is magic the same at Wagadu? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. <laughs> That's incredible! You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Thank you for telling me about Wagadu. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work on humans. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. <laughs> Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. A word, if you would. Oh, they all there? I wanted to bug them. Oh well. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Quest complete. Man, we are leveling fast. Did I see your message? How's it going? Just wondering, do you plan on returning to Saints Row just for fun for the newest DLC content updates? I haven't heard about that, but if there is new DLC, I will be playing it. 
So that's news to me. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. All right, let's see. Uh, so our quests, Weasley after class. Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard, located between the Library Annex and the Astronomy Wing. Hopefully, she has word on replacing my lost supplies. Meet Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration Classroom. Required level two. Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm level four. Earned a sub, bro. Thanks, Kitsune. Appreciate it. I think the Transfiguration Courtyard was right over here. Go figure out the tile puzzle? Um, let me think about that one a little bit more. I don't even have like a guess as to how it works right now. Like there was obviously a second tile that I didn't discover. I guess we can take a quick look. That particular puzzle is making me feel dumb. All right, so let's see. There's that one. Where's the second one? I wonder if it's in here. Revelio. So I don't see another one. Yeah, I think this one's like locked. I think the second thing might be behind there. Cause I only see the one. Yeah, I don't see the second one. Eh, I'll deal with this later. Right, Revelio. There's something out here. Levioso. Got another one. <laughs> Reparo. If I do need to repair that, I can't yet. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? No, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. 
Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. What more can you tell me about the potion shop? Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. What's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. So there really is an Ollivanders here? There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, we'll go with Natty. How about Natty? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Quest complete. Easily after class. What's this? It's a side quest or something over there. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Oh, that's an assignment. Assignments are type of... Uh, types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quests menu of your field guide. Alright. What else is going on in her office? Level 1 lock. Rebellion. <laughs> Got all these ah, paper things. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. 
What is the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll complete the tasks. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. All right, search areas on the minimap. Represents areas you should explore to find your quest objective. Collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. Okay. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Accio. Got it. Sweet. And the other one's over here. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I saw these flying pages earlier. Only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Alright, I'll go talk to her in a bit. First, I want this page. Brilliant. Hey, level five? Oh, just shy. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember. Your wand is a conduit of your magic. Ooh, new button presses. Almost threw me off. Rapero, new spell unlocked. The mending charm, Rapero, can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. <laughs> Look at that hat. Oh, wait, that's not a hat, that's a hair. Pretty nifty. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Challenge unlocked. Complete assignments. I am level five. Repairer. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Quite the statue. All right, I want to go check out the side quest. Might some kind soul help me? Zenobia Noke. Or Noke. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noke. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones. Interesting. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett in Astoria are terrible as well. 
And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <laughs> Sounds as if they overreacted. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Any ideas as to how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. You don't have any friends? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I can't make any promises. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Quest started, Gobs of Gobstones. Apparently they're all over the place. What's that? Is that one of the gobstones? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm somebody's owl. I don't know what a gobstone looks like. Let's see. This is the first year my siblings and I are all at Hogwarts together. Our poor mother doesn't know what to do with their time, so she knits. Sends us each a new jumper every week. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings closer together. Hmm. I don't see anything. Oh wait, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Easy. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked. I love that word. If I can just stop banishing my quickly. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Alright, where the heck am I now? In some sort of cellar. Oh, must be potions class. What's this? Memorandum. Date 31st of December, 1875. From Orr Office. Subject, Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has an or has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more ores to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. And another chest. We got the blue leather gloves. Those seem to have actual stats. So let's go ahead and put them on. Oh, and they have a, a trait slot. Eight offense. Not bad. They're apparently superb blue leather gloves. I'll use them. Okay. We've hit 2% completion. Inventory, we got Zenobia's Gobstone, a small magical ball from Zenobia's collection. It squirts a putrid liquid when a player loses a point. And we got our second notes. Uh, quests. Welcome to Hogs Hogsmeade, and we got the gob gobs of gobstones. Zenobia's gobstones are hidden around the castle. She said that the other students hid them out of her reach. They must have used magic to do it. And then, welcome to Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley has arranged for me to visit the nearby village of Hogsmeade and replace my lost supplies. I should be able to navigate to the different shops using my map. Natty Onai will keep me company along the way. 
collections. We got another one of these Revelio pages. And challenges. So we need to complete two assignments and we'll get the top of the class scarf. Operated a page. <laughs> Normally I'd call that a bug, but it's magic land. Anything's possible. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything. Revenge. Here. Feel like going into the dungeon right now? Scarlet asked me to explain to the class the main use of plants. I said picking them. What? Something so peaceful about tending to magical plants. Venomous tentacula being a notable exception. Obviously, the best greenhouse is the one with the dangerous plants. You Make sure to read the chalkboard. Sometimes they have clues. Was before I invented blue powder. There's a page here for some reason. Huh. So what's this? All of the shopkeepers like oh, that's pretty cool. I know they do. They always put a bit of something extra in the bag for me. I think they're drawn to my child. I don't send many out. I still just cannot get over how cool those moving pictures are. Uh, man, this place is so confusing. Oh, I can't go in there? Alright, I can. Alright, I found some sort of courtyard. And if that penny had started playing toss a coin to your witcher. <laughs> oh wait. I might know this connecting area. Hold on. Maybe I'm starting to figure this castle out. I think I've been here. Oh, okay, yeah, this is Yeah, okay. I get it now. All right, well, we're near one of those uh, stones, gobstones. Rebellion. Hello, Paige. Come in. Okay, I think, yeah, one of them's up there. Or maybe not. I 
there? What is that thing? <laughs> I want one. Can I get pets? I want that in my my dorm room. All right, well, I'm gonna go to the top. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. All right, this is the divination class area. Apparently, there's one of them. Accio. Sweet, got two of the gobstones. Right, it's another one of these doors. I do not understand these at all. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, is this what I needed? Why, wait, why wasn't this with the other ones? Oh, that would have been freaking helpful. All right, that is, hold on. That's in my inventory. Arithmancy, study guide page, a page torn from an arithmancy. Study guide that contains a list of numbers assigned to various magical beasts. Well, I needed this before. All right. And this applies to all the puzzles? All right, let's see. So we got the, like, Hydra thing. Two. And then question mark. All right. So we got an equal seven. Oh. Run button. All right, so let's see. Let's see here. We need seven between Hydra and whatever the other one is. Uh, so we need the what is that? An owl? Hard to tell. Okay, we need the owl for the first one. Uh, is that the hell? It was more like a walrus. Now there it is. Okay, I think hard to tell what that is. All right, and then we need one that's worth three points. We need the hydra. Okay. Ha ha! Nice. Very cool. Hello, good sir. Collection updated feline plates? My god, that looks so good. Absolutely amazing job with these paintings. And what's crazy too is that like I haven't really seen any duplicates. Like they all seem unique. They put so much work into these. Well, that one might actually be a duplicate. I might have seen that one before. Wait, where the heck am I? Oh, I found like some master room. What the heck? Wait, is this like multiple doors? What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, let's have we got multiple doors here. All right, what do we got here? We got the lizard thing, the, I'm gonna call it a crab, I guess. Lizard, crab, and then we need the other to be 15. All right. So he's six. He's five, so we need the owl thing. This is the arithmancy classroom. Okay. Uh, all right, and then we need the walrus and something else to be five points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Walrus. 
this dude is zero, so we need the... Oh, it's a spider. It's not a crab. We need the spider. I guess it's like kind of weird looking spider, but all right. Ta-da! Brown leather finger, fingerless gloves. Collection updated. We got the skull and candles something. And that red letter is writing itself. Fire crab. As good a guess as any that I have. All right, let's see. We got, I'm gonna call it the spider though because now I'm only seeing it as a spider. So we need spider and something else to equal 11. All right, we need the lizard. Lizard. Okay, and then this one. What the heck is that? I don't recognize that one, but we need something in that to be eight. Hey, cards. Welcome to the stream. Uh, what is that thing? It's not the owl, is it? Didn't look like it. Well, if it is, we'd need another owl. Oh, no, it's this thing. Seven. So we need the unicorn. We need the unicorn. Ta-da! Alright, we got the tower spire, apparently. We got the knitted jumper attire. Oh, and then this. A lustrous cloak. Oh, wrong button. All right, let's take a look at some of this gear we picked up. So we've got the brown leather fingerless gloves. Those are worse than what we got. What is this? The illustrious cloak. Well, it's got far better stats than what I had, which is nothing. And I don't know, it kind of looks like I'm in a bathrobe. I like the school uniform better. Well, um, oh, I can't change the look? Oh, that's dirty. Why not? Or maybe I do it here. Maybe I do it here. Oh, good, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's see, we can make it, ooh. What the heck is this? Oh, that's the Dark Arps robe. Well, it doesn't really fit my character. <laughs> Imagine a kid, like, walking around in this, like, uh... Oh, yeah, he seems like a good guy. <laughs> Alright, we're... That's a little too over the top for me. I'm just gonna go with the school rope. Alright, and then we got, um... What is this? Knitted jumper attire, five defense. Man, I feel like my stats are crazy. Ugh. Let's put these... Visuals, they're awful. That's a, ooh. Ooh, now I look like Dracula or something. The Dark Arts Ensemble. An ensemble for those with a proclivity for pushing the boundaries of magic. Well, I, I, I like the way that looks. I look all snooty. What are the other ones, though? That's not for me. I'll, I'll, I'll use it. I got that Dracula vibe going on. They call me Mr. Lazdoris. Lazdoris, I should say. All right, cool. We got a bunch of good stuff there. And we now have the ability to open up those other doors. Maybe I'll go uh, backtrack a little bit. I'd better keep that. an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I still don't know what to do about these chests. We'll 
figure it out. How's the game storyline? I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't done a whole lot. I've been doing a lot of exploring. I absolutely love this castle. It's it's so much fun. Exploring is uh, my favorite part of the game thus far. I've done very little combat, so I can't really speak to it so much. I'm, it seems fine. The atmosphere is perfect. Yeah, I, I freaking love the castle. It's super well done. Oh, there's a page. Come here, page. Been to Hogsmeade yet? No, I have not. I have a quest to go there. But I haven't been yet. Alright, so now we can... Oh, actually, I can't solve this because I don't know where the freaking second thing is at. Hmm. Revelio. I don't see it anywhere. I just see the one. It's like up here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, okay. So, we need 10 between... I'm gonna call that the goat and something else. Alright, so we need... Oh, that's a spider. Alright, so we will call that the crab, I guess. All right, so we need the spider. Okay. And then we need... Let's see, we got... I'm gonna call that the squid, I guess. Squid, fire crab, and something else to equal 17. So... We need the Hydra. Perfect. Ta da! Collection updated small framed paintings. And we got solar protection spectacles. Wow, seven defense. And a trait level two, apparently. <laughs> now, now I just look like a, like a music artist. I'm gonna leave those glasses on for now. All right, I think there was one more of these puzzles I had found but was unable to solve at the time. And oh, I can do a reveal here. Revelio. The uh, wyvern fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Y, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. <laughs> you look like you belong in high society, but late 1700s. Indeed. I don't know about 1700s, but high society. I'll take it. Alright, where was that other one at? I think it was near the top of the tower? Wait, what's this back here? Hmm. Revelio. Not sure. Yeah, the charms classroom. I thought it was near the Dark Arts one. Oh no, Dark Arts was near the bottom. You're right. You're right, you're right. 
Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I need to go this way. That's so weird, though, that you have these puzzles all over the place, but you have to find a random piece of paper. Oh, here it is. Alright. Where's the other... Rebellion. Oh, it's right there. Alright, so... That one's easy. We need a two, and then we need... Eight between unicorn and something else. Okay. Alright, so we need the... I'm going to call it the goat, even though it's clearly not a goat. And then we need that squid, we'll call it. Alright, so goat, I think, and then squid. Yep, that should be it. Nope, ah, uh, dang it. Well, if you studied all the doors, you could have decoded them without the key. Used to be that's how you would have would have had to do it. Games like to hold your hand nowadays. I don't see how you would have because there's no way to know. Like you're missing valuable information. You wouldn't be able to to decipher what numbers those were. All right, we got a new collection thing there, and we got the Tartan Classic School uniform. And it appears to be purple, which tends to mean it's good. Oh, it's very good. 11 defense, holy crap. And... Eh, screw it, I'll wear it, why not? Well, sure, you could brute force it and learn the pattern that way, but there'd be no way to that I can think of that you would be able to decode it naturally. But yeah, you you could brute force it. Once you brute first force the first one, then you could probably figure out the rest. But that's horrible. That's not a way to do a puzzle. But to learn the pattern that way, you would need dozens. Potentially not. Really depends on how they're set up. Like, you could potentially, like, if they wanted to make it really, like, intricate, they could have given us, like, one or two of the numbers rather than all of them, and then you could, like, work out the rest. But you'd need a few to start. Alright, so I found another piece of paper. My dear Satyavati. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contact at Cambridge, who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. Whatever. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. 
with love, Sukrita. Yeah, you would need a clue, or at least in a arithmetic class, like a literal class in a game about going to school. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know I'd be brushing up on my uh, basic math skills in this game. Oh. I was not expecting that. All right, am I actually at the top of the tower? Like, what's going going on here? It just keeps going up and up. This is crazy. I die of embarrassment if my mother taught at Hogwarts. Don't know how Natty manages. Oh, one of these. Lumos. Okay, so we've got some sort of. Oh, I think this is probably the very top. Or is that classroom? Might be that classroom. Just looking out into the uh, the landscape. Let's check the classroom first. I wish they'd let Ronan teach the entire curriculum. What are you up to no, now? No, this is closed. Alright, maybe it's the other way. You should hear Shah talking about divination. It's the wonder of Cannot wait for Dyson. Oh. Yeah. I can't wait to watch you try. Where's Peeves at? Oh. Hi, Peeves. Be at the tippy top. This appears to be it. Oh yeah, it's definitely it. Huh. Alright, where's the butterfly? I don't see it. Lumos. Butterfly, where you at? I know you're here. Is that you? Hmm. Oh, me? No. Oh, there it is. Follow me. I'm kind of curious what's this way, though. Or is that where I came from? No, I came from this way. Well, I'm curious what the other way is, but let's bring this first. Sweet. <laughs> well, I'm the level six. My quest is like level two. <laughs> this is the problem. You get me exploring and I I level up very quickly in these games. I did tell the sorting hat that I like to explore. He was forewarned. Huh. Alright, what the heck's going on down here? We got a chest. It's cool. All right, that appears to be everything up here. Trust me, I get that kind of in the name. All oh, the shinies? How could you have guessed? My mother sent me a howler after I got this call. Am I going for five hours or six? Neither, I'm going for four and a half. I'll be here for another 25 minutes or so. It's 
This game was made to be explored. I agree. And explore I will. That looked like a pensive, a memory bulb? Or pensive, I think they pronounce it. Why can't the general public get this game? YouTubers can, just wondering. Oh no, anyone can get the game. You just have to buy the uh, the deluxe pre-order or whatever. It gives you uh, early access. I think I don't have anything special for being a YouTuber. Anyone can play right now. Good, cause I gotta sleep soon. When we go live on Wednesday. Uh, normal stream time, so two hours earlier than, uh, than I went tonight. 7 p.m. Pacific. Okay, we're gonna go this way, if I remember correctly. I've always said no? that travel broadens the mind. Hmm. Oh, anyway, I need to go down a level, I think. Can I jump? <laughs> Wow, that was the lamest little hop he did. <laughs> uh, oops. Sorry. I mean, to knock your stuff over. What room is this again? Oh, this was Fig's room, wasn't it? Yeah, this is Fig's classroom. Steam tells me I can't get it until the 10th. I don't know. Maybe it's a PlayStation thing. Either way, if you pre order the deluxe edition. You get to play uh, now. For for PlayStation at least. I can't speak for PC. Alright, well I'm gonna go up here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. That's where I got one of the gobstones. Looks like another one's on up another here. Adventure, are we? Huh, <laughs> that was cool. Revelio. place is this? It's a classroom? Another letter. Mudiwa Onai. Under Professor Black's dis uh, direction, it is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of divination professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. Alright, and there appears to be a gobstone in here, but I'm not seeing it. Is there really? Do we trust it? <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Wait, it seems to think it's below me? Oh. Guess I went past it? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, there it is. We got another. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented this paradise. All right, let's go out of here. Or maybe we go out there. 
got here. You should use Revelia when you hear that twinkling sound. Hmm. Guess I haven't been paying enough attention. Alright, where the heck are we now? Something dungeon? Revelio. Kelpie statue. This depicts, or this statue depicts, the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. I hear Kelpie and I can only think God of War. What Lower Grand Staircase. Now? Another chest. I have so much money. Oh wow. Look at this place. Trippy. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Look at that one. I like that one. Someone with the initial S. So I guess the stairs just appear when you when you need them. I guess so. One more and our challenge will be complete. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most happy. All right, we got another gobstone. We just have uh, a couple more left, I think. Seems to be one, like, way up this tower. Oh, am I not able to go higher? Interesting. Oh, it's over here. It's one of these. Okay. There's the first one, and there's the second one. Okay. So what do we got? We need the goat thing and the other to equal eight, and then Hydra squid and something to be 19. Alright, so we need a lizard and then. What was the other one? Oh, let me look again. I already forgot. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. 
Uh, all right, so we need a lizard and then Hydra squid. Okay, and then I think we need that. I don't even know what to call those things. Other squid. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, lizard and the uh, squid looking thingy. Alright, lizard. And that do dead. Collection updated medium tables, fringed crimson clockwork scarf. And that's going to be another six offense. And... Nah, I don't want a scarf. Just turn that off. Unless I got a cool one. No scarf. Man, that's way up there. Hit a dead end. Hmm. Maybe this can go up there? Grand Staircase Tower. I said that travel broadens the mind. Looks like it. Oh man, look at this thing. That's awesome looking. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. A trophy room. Rebellion. Troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has survived at all is astonishing since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Oh, and our challenge is complete. Hello, suits of armor. Oh, we got this. How here. nice to see you, my young friend. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Gear... Nothing new there. Collections... What's this? Conjurations? Decorations and gameplay stations conjured in the Room of Requirement. Conjuration spellcrafts can be found in collection chests and purchased in Hogsmeade. Some are also hidden near butterflies and in vivariums. So we have like different things that we can place. Tower Spire, an impressive steeple supported by columns. Feline plates, a collection of plates displaying cats. Huge decorated table, a huge table decorated with a variety of items. We've got medium tables, a variety of mid-sized tables. Uh, skull and candle shelf, a shelf with a skull and candles, and small framed paintings, paintings, and miniature frames. And we got all these. <laughs> Chunky boy, I know, right? There's something on top of the window, right of the troll armor. What are you up to now? Oh, it's one of her orbs. Accio. Good call. It looks like there might be another here. Here in the trophy room. Revelio. Oh, there it is. Get this first. 
Trophy room. This room contains the house cup, Quidditch trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand, as a reminder of the value of hard work. All right, and we got her Back final That's orb. the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Or gobstones, whatever. It's this Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh-year Hufflepuff Mirabelle Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe and boobo tubers to bouncing bulbs, her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Why <laughs> don't we just take it with us? Like, we'll, we'll just take this plaque. It's fine. I could sneak into the other common rooms just for an hour or so. Have you been in any other Rebellion? Room? I'd love to know what it's like to be in another house just for a day. Rumor has it there's a secret passage route to the vault. The heck? Okay. Oh, chests. Oh, nice. Ne uh, Neapolitan striped scarf. And that's the level one lock. Revelio. Oops. You Somebody can't saw imagine it. how inconvenient travel was before I invented Lucas. We can weld potion. Oh good. I got two of those now. Alrighty, let's go back to... I can't remember her name anymore. The little girl. Oh wait, I don't want to go up. I want to go down. <laughs> Can you beat me stairs? Oh well, I fall to my death, and then I'll sue sue this school. As a ghost. All right, where the heck am I? Ah, oh, it's not one of these. All right, where's the thing? Revelio. Oh, what's this? Renaissance cap. All right, so we got our first one there, and there's the second one. Let's see. We need spider and something else to do 12, and then hydra and something else for eight. All right, we need the owl. And then we need the crab. Owl and crab. Got a chest, small games table for a collection, and the black bowler hat. Alright, now where am I? I need to go down there. I guess I'll just keep going down this tower. Or can I? Oh hey, one of these. Lumos. What room is that? Is that the one directly above me? Maybe. Aw oh, snap. Dapper hat time. I don't know. Bowler hat. I don't know. There it is. That was the easy one. Oh, 
I'm almost level seven. I've been exploring a little bit. Just a tad. Alright, there was no other way down, was there? Nope, okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. Oh, I'm here in the main lobby area. Oh, okay. Well, good. I know exactly where I am then. I'm starting to figure this place out. had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? <laughs> you could just grab them and then just keep them. Wow. No, I will give them back. Yes, of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. Go make some friends. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Quest complete. Looks like we got another wand handle. We ranked up to seven. We completed a challenge. Dominating. Oh, wrong button again. Award for excellence and award for excellence and oh. Where's that plaque? Let's see. Gear, we got the Neapolitan striped scarf. Apparently, uh, more often than what I had. Go ahead and uh, change that appearance to nothing. And then headwear. Oh, we got two options actually the Renaissance cap. And the black bowler hat, black bowler hat is better. Oh my god. Mm, yes. I'm going hatless. Not for me. But I will wear this for the defense. Man, my stats are through the roof already. <laughs> Might have to take some of this off so I'm not too, o too overpowered. Alrighty, uh, how the heck do I save? So this is a good time to save. Oh, I guess we'll look at my collections real quick. So, what's this? Wand handles. Apparently there's 42 wand handles, and I have gotten two of them. This is the Orbicular Violet. An impressive ringed handle design in violet. And then, these are conjurations for my personal space or whatever. We picked up the small game tables, small tables with lively games atop. And we got another one of these. Oh, and our challenges, we did something as well. Quests. Uh, there we go. Completed three side slash relationship quests. We got the bookish half rim spectacles for that. And then field guide pages. 
completed 15 field guide pages, so we get the Hogwarts Regalia hat. This one we need 25 for, for the Hogwarts Regalia Ensemble. Alright, how do I save? There must be a way. Save game, perfect. Alrighty, that is gonna do it for tonight. I had a lot of fun exploring. Didn't make a ton of progress in the storyline tonight, but made some progress. Did pretty good. Um, but we saw a bunch of the castle, and I'm, I'm just digging this castle. I think it's super cool. Uh, so, yeah. That's going to be it. Uh, upcoming streams tomorrow night. I'll be playing the Callisto Protocol. Doing uh, New Game Plus. It's getting released uh, tomorrow, actually. So, I'll be playing it the, the day it releases. Uh, we'll be back here on Hogwarts on Wednesday. That stream will be normal stream time, so two hours earlier than we started tonight. Uh, Thursday is Death Stranding with Blueberry. Friday will be on Hogwarts. Saturday is GTA Online. And then Sunday we'll be playing Dead Space, starting the New Game Plus playthrough for that. So, thank you all for coming. Hope you had fun. And I will see you all next time.